someday when I'm awfully low when the world is cold I will feel a glow just thinking of you and the way you look tonight yes you're lovely with your smile so warm and your cheeks so soft there is nothing for me but to love you and the way you look to With each word your tenderness grows tearing my fear apart and that lie wrinkles your nose touches my foolish heart lovely Never, never change Keep that breathless charm Won't you please arrange it Cause I love you Just the way you look tonight Touches my foolish heart Lovely Don't you ever change Keep that breathless charm Won't you please arrange it Cause I love you Just the way you look tonight Just the way you look to
Friends, it's probably pretty obvious that neither one of us is Rabbi Deb. <laughs> Rabbi Deb has a family need that, that actually superseded her being able to be here. So please keep the rabbi and her family in your prayers. She has, she has need of that. So Uncle Alan is going to take care of the pieces that require more Hebrew than I have and to represent the family as well. So we're pleased to serve you this evening together. Dearly beloved, we have come together in the presence of God to witness and bless the joining together of this man and this woman in holy matrimony. The bond and covenant of marriage was established by God in creation and Holy Scripture commends it to be honored among all people. The union of husband and wife in heart, body and mind is intended by God for their mutual joy for the help and comfort given one another in prosperity and adversity, and when it is God's will, for the procreation of children and their nurture in the knowledge and love of the Lord. Therefore, marriage is not to be entered into unadvisedly or lightly, but reverently, deliberately, and in accordance with the purposes for which it was instituted by God. Into this holy union, Elizabeth K. Baranek and Justin Connor Murray now come to be joined. Uncle Alan, would you preside at the signing of the ketubah, please? Right. Uh, Justin and Liz, we have chosen to begin the wedding here with the signing of the ketubah. Some think that the ceremony starts under the chuppah, which is what we're under right now. But truly it began with Justin and Liz agreed not only to a wedding, but also to a marriage a partnership based on a covenant that they have made to one another. That agreement is written down in their ketubah, their marriage contract, which they will sign in front of all of us here today as a witness to their love for one another. So at this time, we're going to sign the ketubah and have the witnesses come up so they can sign as well. Baruch atarnai Eloheinu melech olam, bore peri hakafen. For our reading for God's word for this celebration, I'll be reading from the second and eighth chapters of the Song of Solomon, also called the Song of Songs. My beloved spoke thus to me, Arise, my darling, my fair one, come away. For now the winter is past, the rains are over and gone. The blossoms have appeared in the land. The time of singing has come. The song of the turtle dove is heard in our land. The green figs form on the fig tree. The vines in blossom give off fragrance. Arise, my darling, my fair one, come away. Let me be a seal upon your heart, like the seal upon your arm. For love is fierce as death, passion is mighty as Sheol. Its darts are darts of fire, a blazing flame. Vast floods cannot quench love, nor rivers drown it. If a man offered all his wealth for love, he would be laughed to scorn. Lord, we ask your blessing on the reading and the hearing of your holy word. Amen. When I was asked to give a charge or a meditation or it's an excuse for short preaching anyway. 
I promised I would try not to talk longer than the attention span of a couple on their wedding day. What's that, two and a half minutes, two and three quarter minutes maybe? No, I'm, I'm teasing. You're entering into something and you just signed the, the document called a ketubah that, that represents it. It's a covenant, a bereath. And in ancient times, a bereath wasn't enacted without bloodshed, without sacrifice. But it's something more than a contract. When we sign a contract and shake hands on it, I'll give you the money only if you give me the car and I'll only meet you halfway in the contract. You're not entering a contract today that's 50-50. You're entering a covenant. And a covenant is a commitment to go 100-100. That means if one of you can't make it to the midpoint of the bridge, the other one goes all the way. And you promise that now. And it's important that we say not only before witnesses, but before God. Because a covenant with that kind of love there are a couple of kinds of love described in Scripture. If I were talking from the, the New Testament, I'd, I'd call them eros and agape. I think ahav and uh, chesed are closer. In the, the, the affection that causes you to attract to one another, and thank God for that. For the attraction, the affection, it becomes friendship, it becomes love, it becomes deep affection in that love. But agape or chesed, that is an active, committed love. Chesed is such a small three-letter word in Hebrew, and it takes paragraphs in English to explain it. It is you translate as loving kindness, steadfast love. It's a committed, active love, the love that God professes for God's people throughout history. It's on his calling card when he says, the Lord, the Lord, a God merciful and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in Chesed, abounding in an active love for his people. Chesed is what we ask you to have, agape, that love for each other. Active, caring, putting the other a little more important than self. Always ready to do what the other needs throughout the rest of your lives. Thank God we have him in the covenant modeling that chesed, giving you a, a permanent well of that kind of active, deep love, that agape for life that God will share with each of you as an everlasting well. In Ecclesiastes, we read that two are better than one. If one stumbles, the other can catch them and help. What a beautiful image. But then it gets strange, the next verse says, a three-strand cord is not easily broken. God is always your third strand. God is always a partner to that covenant, to that bereath that is represented in the ketubah. Draw near to God and you draw near to each other in that covenant, in that bereath. That's the challenge. That's also the blessing that we put before you the day you become one in holy matrimony. Thanks be to God. Amen. Would you please join hands? And Justin, repeat after me. I, Justin. I, Justin. Take you, Elizabeth. Take you, Elizabeth. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until we are parted by death. Until we are parted by death. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. I, Elizabeth. I, Elizabeth. Take you, Justin. Take you, Justin. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until we are parted by death. Until we are parted by death. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. So, Lord, these rings, to be a sign of the vows by which Justin and Elizabeth have bound themselves to each other. Amen. Elizabeth, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my vow. As a symbol of my vow. And with all that I am. And with all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. 
In the name of the Lord our God. In the name of the Lord our God. Justin, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my vow. As a symbol of my vow. And with all that I am. And with all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. In the name of the Lord our God. In the name of the Lord our God. At this time, we are going to do the traditional seven blessings. So I will read them in order as best I can. May you be blessed with health. May life bring you wholeness of mind, body, and spirit. May you keep each other well, balanced, grounded, and live long that you may share many happy years together. May your life be blessed with the art and beauty of this world. May your creative aspirations and experiences find expression, inspire you, and bring you joy and fulfillment. May you find happiness together in adventures, big and small, and something to celebrate each day of your lives. May you be best friends and work together to build a relationship of substance and quality. May your sense of humor and playful spirit continue to enliven your relationship. May you respect each other's individual personality and perspective and give each other room to grow in fulfilling your dreams. May you be blessed with wisdom. May you continually learn from one another and from the world. Together, may you grow, deepening your knowledge and understanding of each other in your journey through life. May you be blessed with love. May your admiration, appreciation, and understanding of each other foster a love that is passionate, tranquil, and real. May this love between you be strong and enduring and bring peace into your lives. May you be blessed with a loving home filled with warmth, humor, and compassion. May you create a family together that honors traditions old and new. May you teach your children to have equal respect for themselves and others and instill in them the value of learning and to kun alam, making the world a better place. And the last, may you be blessed with community. May you always be blessed with awareness that you are the, an essential part of a circle of family and friends. May there always be within this group love trust, support, and laughter, and may there be many future occasions for rejoicing in their company. It is a Scottish custom for the bride to be presented with a garment of the tartan of her husband's clan. Today it's my privilege as one that's got a little Scottish in me as well to present Liz with her new Murray tartan. Oh, better get rid of one before I put the other one on. Mm -hmm. oh, there. Justin and I discovered something else that was God's sense of humor. This is the regimental cup of the 10th Regiment of Foot. Do I have it correct? I got Grenadier, it right. Grenadier Company. Grenadier Company of the 10th Regiment of Foot. It was a tradition in Scotland as well, besides the tartan, for this bowl-shaped cup to be used to share a drink with a new bride. The cup was the canteen mess kit and general purpose whatever of the Scottish soldier and shared, and it was a cup, bowl-shaped with two handles, from which comes the term loving cup, because it was used as the wedding cup. Sorry, I had to add the teaching to that, Justin. <laughs> it, was, but it just, when, when we found that out, it was just such a blessing. Now that Elizabeth and Justin have given themselves to each other by solemn vows, with the joining of hands and the giving and receiving of rings, I pronounce that they are husband and wife in the name of the Lord our God. May God bless and keep this couple this day and all their days. Amen. Would you please seal your covenant with a kiss.
Before we have the blessing, I want to explain for those of us, I had to learn it, a tradition called a Yehud. And that is a tradition that when the husband and wife are newlyweds, their first few moments really ought to be spent with each other, not the rest of us. So when they recess out of here and take off, don't be offended. When they're gone and the, the wedding party has recessed, we will go past the fountain and into the reception room where they've promised to join us in a short while when they've had that time together as brand new husband and wife. So let's respect their Yehud time when they go out. Now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make His face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up His countenance over you and give you His peace. Amen, amen. and amen. Uncle Alan, the glass. We have here um, a tradition of breaking of the glass, and uh, there's different uh, explanations of that. One is uh, may your marriage last as long as it takes to put the glass back together, and there's other things too. So this is a beautiful glass that uh, Justin's going to crush it after I remove my hand very quickly. <laughs> um, and uh, the shards are going to be gathered and put into a mezuzah. For, uh, so I'm not going to break it yet. So hold on. There are many explanations for the custom of breaking of glass. One interpretation is this uh, practice reminds us that anywhere there is oppression and pain that uh, the Jew is asked to respond, Justin and Liz, along with all who are present, you are called into partnership with God in the task of Tekin Olam, the healing and repairing of the world. May the shattering of this glass be a reminder that all, to all and to all to work towards a time of wholeness and ourselves, for ourselves and our world. Amen. Amen. Not yet. It's <laughs> <laughs> fine. Yeah. to Elizabeth and Justin's wedding reception. Woo! Starting off with the parents of our bride, I want you to give a nice warm welcome with Joseph and Jennifer Barrett. Yes, kick it. 
tonight's gonna be a good night. That tonight's gonna be. Ladies and gentlemen, the moment you've all been waiting for it all, please stand and rise to the occasion. As we introduce to you once again, here they are, the new Mr. and Mrs. Justin and Elizabeth Murray.
see trees of green Red roses too I see them blue For me and you And I think to myself What a wonderful world I see skies of blue And clouds of white The bright blessed day The dark sacred night And I think to myself What a wonderful world The colors of the rainbow So pretty in the sky Are also on the faces Of people going by I see friends shaking hands Saying how do you do They're really saying I love you I hear babies cry much more than I never knew and I think to myself what a wonderful world yes I think to myself what a wonderful Between us and the meal, I promise to pray short. <laughs> Let us join our hearts and minds in prayer. Almighty God, we give you thanks for the love of families and friends in which Liz and Justin have been raised. We give you thanks for the several kinds of love that have drawn them together, brought them to this place of commitment and, and especially of blessing and joy this evening. Bless their marriage this day and all their days. Bless the food we are about to enjoy, yes, but even more, we thank you for the blessing, for the loving friendship in which we enjoy it. In your holy name we pray. Amen. Amen. Liz and I met each other under very interesting circumstances. Um, <laughs> we had... Um, a professor, a mathematics professor, since we were both math majors, uh, that got the finals wrong. And we also had a chemistry class where the finals were supposedly at the same time. And so we're, we're used to um, some strange circumstances happening and getting through it and making the best of it. And I remember being very sad to find out that she was going to be going to Massachusetts at the end of our four years together. <laughs> but even though it was difficult that you were away, thank you to all of her family that were here, all of her friends that she made to where she now has a community. And most of all, thank you, Justin, for making my friend so very happy. Cheers, everyone. <laughs> When I met Justin, um, and, and I found it interesting that Shelby mentioned interesting circumstances, it was kind of in the most interesting of circumstances. It was in a middle school history classroom um, where Justin was teaching and I was working as an instructional assistant. And as I got to know Justin, I began to realize that as he was kind of growing into who he is now, when he found the person he would spend the rest of his life with, it would have to be someone that could compete with all of the different passions Justin has. <laughs> Whether it's history education in his classroom or with the 10th Regiment of Foot. Um, whether it's things with his computer, video games, uh, blacksmithing, all of these things that Justin does. But it would also have to be someone who could be as passionate about Justin and those things as he is. And when he met Liz, and I first met Liz, 
I knew there was something there. Uh, the two of them had a passion for each other and shared passions that really have blossomed and grown as they've gotten to know each other. Uh, and I'm so very excited for, for Liz and for Justin to spend the rest of their lives together and to continue and grow and explore those passions. So to Liz and to Justin, congratulations. And may you guys have a long and wonderful life together. And as you can see, uh, Brad and Groom are by the wedding cake, and that can only mean one thing. Understand my ups and downs There you were With sweet love and devotion Deeply touching my emotion I want to stop Thank you, baby I want to stop And thank you, baby Yes, I do
day when the heat of a rolling wind can't be turned away an enchanted moment and it sees me through it's enough for this restless warrior just to be with you and care It's enough for this one.